American in distress. I don't have my upside down flag, but I got up at three o'clock this morning to fuck around with the, the telescope here, check out the sky because uh, we've had some cloudy days. I haven't been able to do this in a while and it was beautiful this morning. I woke up at three, uh, no clouds, clear sky. And out here I have pretty good um, visibility because we're away from the city and everything, but there's still a lot of light pollution. It's really, it's not good. I don't know if anyone has ever really, how many people rather have really seen the night sky without any light pollution whatsoever. And uh, it's a pretty amazing scene. I mean, you can't even go to the ocean anymore and see the see the uh, stars on the horizon because uh, there's so much light on the cities. Um, I've been to a couple countries where it's, there's no light pollution at all. And uh, you can see the stars from horizon to horizon. But actually, I stood on Mount Sinai, and I saw the stars from horizon to horizon. And uh, there's actually three Mount Sinai's. This probably wasn't the original one where the Moses went, but they, it was Mount Sinai anyway. And uh, I don't know how many people have really had that um, experience to actually see the stars from horizon to horizon and actually see all the stars and the constellations with your naked eye. You don't even need a telescope. But having a telescope, you can really see the shit. And um, the stars make you think. They make you wonder. They make you feel how insignificant you are in this vast, vast area that we occupy and don't occupy. And who God only knows what's out there. But I think that's part of it, you know, we, you, we have to light up the night skies, we have to light up the cities, we have to light, 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 light up the night. And the reason is because, because we need to obscure what's really out there in the cosmos, what we can really witness from Earth. You know, for thousands of years people would sit up there and look at the stars, they didn't have TV and radios and fucking phones. They figured things out. Their mind developed. We put artificial light, artificial stimuli from the television and radio and all that other shit, and the mind stops to develop. It doesn't develop. It doesn't think. It doesn't reason. It can't. It starts changing into something else. Thank God. You know, when I was small, we never had television. We were fucking poor. We were like fucking sharecroppers. We had no television. Hell, we didn't have electricity when I was little, or fucking running water. And you know, and that's pretty unheard of in this in the nuclear age here, right? But when I look back on it, I was damn lucky, because people got addicted to television early in life, and it net, it's a, it's an addiction that never goes away. And the reasoning, the 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 part of the brain that that controls the reasoning, and and the thought process, is it shrinks. Because you don't take time to wander. You, the human brain needs to wander. It needs to develop. It needs to fly to places out there. And just imagine what's out there and wander and look inside yourself. People don't do that anymore. Nobody does. Everybody did it at one time. But, you know, it's all part of it. It's all part of it. We need to take these natural elements out of the equation, the human condition, and insert artificial ones. And then you get people fucking shooting each I mean, it's always been crazy, right, in, in, on Earth, because humanity is just a bunch of... Humans are not good, good. Not good for the Earth, not good for anything. Most of them are, but I'd say the, there's a, there, these few that seem to rule and take us to other places and do things and in the name of, of justice or the name of fucking religion or the name of conquest. And it always ends up being one thing, fucking human, human sacrifice on a mass fucking scale. It's, it always ends up being that, no matter what. Yeah. It's pretty nice out here. I had to light these fucking fire things, man. Um, this is the woods behind my house here. Can't see them. It's still early. Twilight hasn't occurred yet, and it's really foggy back there. It goes back for a couple miles. 
few miles in that direction. And but man, we've had I've been visited by skunks, by raccoons, by something that was growling. And uh, pretty soon here, the woodchuck will he'll be making his rounds. The birds will be coming in. I'll feed them some food. They flock mostly around this bird feeder back here. I think that was a fox that was growling. <coughs> I don't think the coyotes are coming this close. This is my backyard. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, I get, the woods have encroached so fast and so close that I can't grow food back here anymore. I can only grow flowers because, you know, the food plants, they just get eaten by the bugs and, and, and critters. You can't do anything about it. Well, I have farmers nearby. I got made deals already.